Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a wireless LAN controller in GNS3. Let's take a look at our topology. In GNS3, we'll be setting up a layer 3 switch in our virtual wireless LAN controller. We'll be attaching a cloud to connect to our host computer. In another video, we'll add another cloud to attach our physical access point. Let's start by adding our virtual wireless LAN controller in GNS3. We'll click on the new templates, install an appliance from the GNS3 server, we'll search for our virtual wireless LAN controller. Install the appliance on the main server. To install a different version in GNS3, click on the Allow Custom Files. And we'll create a new version. Now let's import our ISO image. When the upload is complete, the status will change to ready to install. Select it and press next. Our image is now ready to be used. To start the controller, right click and start. Now right click and click console to bring up our terminal and wait for the image to install. Press any key to use this terminal as your default terminal. Press enter to terminate the auto install. Now it's time to go through the initial setup. won't be using the service interface, here you can just pick static. to select a network that is not in use. Management IP should be on the same network as your GNS3 server. My GNS3 server is on my local host and it's attached to a NAT interface. We'll be using this network to reach the virtual wireless LAN controller from our PC. I'll be using the 10.5 address for our layer 3 switch in GNS3. And we'll be using VLAN 10 for our network.
and we'll set up our switch as the DHCP server. We'll be using 10.1.1.1 as our virtual IP. The virtual IP serves as the DHCP relay for your wireless clients. We'll be setting up a radius server in a later video. For our initial setup, we'll enable all our radios and enable auto RF. And we'll be using our switch as our NTP server. And we'll look at IPv6 in a later video. Type yes to save the config and reboot the controller. Let's log in and verify our configuration. Let's check our management interface. Here we can see that our configuration looks correct. Our management interface is on VLAN 10 and our IP address is 10.10. .10. Now it's time to bring in our switch in our cloud that will be connecting our virtual network to our host PC. The interfaces on your virtual machine for GNS3 will be the interfaces on your GNS3 cloud. We'll select Ethernet 0 to connect to our NAT interface. Next, we'll connect our switch to our virtual wireless LAN controller. And we'll use the management interface. Now it's time to configure our switch. We'll configure port 0 as an access port on VLAN 10. And we'll configure the interface going to our wireless LAN controller as a trunk and we'll create an SVI of connectivity. If we did everything right, we should be able to ping our host PC at 10.1 and our wireless LAN controller at 10.10 .10 from our switch. And we have connectivity to our PC and our wireless LAN controller. Next, let's bring up a browser and log in to our wireless LAN controller. If you made it this far, congratulations. You now have a virtual wireless LAN controller inside GNS3. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
And if you have any questions, please comment below. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.